Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Racing Awesome. And today uh, I actually got my hands on uh, the Fania is super sport thing and uh, yeah I don't know how to pronounce the name of this car maybe I did correctly I probably didn't who really cares so this is the new R3 class car and apparently it might be the fastest car in the game so I might put it in the title for reviews uh, I guess we'll see about that but uh, as of right now this I have to say is a very nice looking car the one I got was already maxed and had some uh, you know other sets of rims put onto it, so this is, um, I, I got this for 30 bucks, I think it was a good deal, even though, you know, the prices for this will obviously drop, uh, the, I guess, uh, Lava B Sports, unfortunately, I don't like the shininess of it, uh, I used to like these rims a lot before, now I don't, I definitely do like the uh, TE37s, I think that they are the TE37s, yep, I really do like the look of these, and uh, we also have some uh, AMX, sets on it so they do put a lot of money into the car and obviously this is the uh you know newest rt class car previously we had like five versions of the fucking uh k1 released you know none of which were paintable obviously except for the normal k1 there you go and i think we also have uh, some other rims but uh actually i think there are beast parts i can might as well show you guys everything this thing has there you go, except that you know the texture, well not the texture, just um, it's it's a bit glitchy because the rims super super small on this for some reason, but uh, whatever, so this car maxes out like pretty much any other R2 class car, not like pretty much any other, but uh, it's quite similar to let's say the Bentley G3 and all that, so we will go to the max setup, uh, it does have a uh, 92.7 engine damage per race, which is uh, you know, quite normal, there you go. Actually, I didn't try driving this car uh, before, but I feel like it might be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, the guy who sold me the car, very nice guy, actually told me that this car, the release for it, is on third light, so that might be an issue. I'm not used to, you know, driving cars which launch like that, plus the shifts are late. And uh, this car, I think, revs very, very quickly, so... Uh, I think we might be uh, kind of screwed there, but uh, he did say that he got a mid 6.4 with messing up the launch. Did I show you guys all the parts? I I might have, I might have not, but uh, you know, it does use a common sense thing. Also, this is system here, you should probably use it because it does, you know, make the upgrading process faster. But let's just take a look at it for a minute, no, not for a whole minute, but you know. It just looks so freaking aggressive. I, I I really do like the looks of it. Also, suspension is actually stage two, but uh, it does lower the car just a bit. So I went for uh, Pro A. Actually, you know, uh, the Pro A suspension were on the car before I got it, but uh, you know, I don't really mind. You know, um, I guess uh, one pound if uh, it lowers the car slightly makes it look. Uh, makes it look slightly better. I'm kind of tired, you guys can probably tell. So we managed to get into a bottle, I'll be alright. I mean, uh, I could just use the test track, but honestly, I just, you know, want to hop into a lobby, get all the fucking attention, because, uh, you know, that's what I seek in life, which is kind of fucking sad. That was sarcasm. Okay, it arrives super quickly. Let's uh, do uh, early third light. Okay, that was not it. It was up to 9k. Actually not to 9k, but uh, to like 8.8k. Also ignore the <laughs> reaction time there. Uh, so my first run with the car was um, pretty shit, honestly. Here we go, but uh, hey, it's still, you know, nice looking. So it's not early third light. Maybe late second, probably late second at this point. Who knows? I mean, I don't, even though I probably should have done some more research, you know, before... Uh, uh, you know, attempting to record the video, and also the, fa uh, the Fast and the Furious notifications are getting kind of annoying because they do pop up at pretty much, you know, the most random of times as they should. Holy fuck, we got it. <laughs> I messed up literally every single shift on that, and we got, um, I mean, you crossed the line at, you know, 6.45, which, uh, I fucked up every single shift there. Okay, I got a decent launch and also I got a, a, a very amazing reaction time and that would still be a 6.4. This car can do some serious fucking damage. Okay, let's, let's just pray that I can get a good run, not like multiple. I'm just praying for one, 
just so you, we can get like a 6.3 or something. Because um, I don't think that Ghost Shifting is going to be of any use in this car, unlike on most, you know, R3 plus cards. I actually forgot about the FXX, that's R3 as, uh, as well. Whatever. Okay. What is up with me getting all these fucking shitty reaction times? Holy fuck. You know, I should probably work on that just a bit. Actually, quite a lot, because this is like garbage. Uh, my driving car, obviously, the car. Honestly, uh, positively surprised by it. I mean, it obviously, you know, expected it to look nice, and it does. It's super expensive, though. Like, you guys should totally wait for prices to come uh, to come down because this is uh, a bit too much. Yeah, the bot lobby is still empty, which I mean, it's handy, but like, you know, I was expecting uh, for some people to actually be in these lobbies. I might refresh later on. Okay, I mean, the reaction time was better, and I'm so used to shifting at uh, 8k there. I mean, I don't think it's going to give us optimal results, but the shifts are quite fast. It might be hard actually getting used to the car, but, uh, you know. Okay, so it's actually not uh, completely late second light either. It's uh, mid to late second light, yeah. You guys are probably just gonna watch me fail with this car for a few more minutes. If that's what you want to do anyway. We do have a K1PB here. No, I'm not going to pink slicker. I paid way too much for this car. Uh, this is not like Roman's Bentley. This is uh, a fucking premium R3 class car, which was released, uh, you know, around a week ago. Actually, exactly a week ago. Six days and like fucking 20 hours. Okay. <laughs> Why the fuck did I short shift like a bitch? Uh, there you go. You know what? We got one gear correctly and we fucked up the launch like usually you know uh, you can get um, decent times if you miss the launch on cars like this but uh, this was a 6.6 .6, nothing special we're going to repel that and we're going to have more runs just because you know I'm going to include the fucking raw process of me fucking up in this video, you know, so I can get to 10 minutes and monetize the shit out of it, but uh, actually I'm not going to do that like I used to, whatever. Now I just wanna, you know, see how uh, fucking long I need before I actually get a decent run with it. Oh, for fuck's sake. So it's not the most consistent thing ever, which is kind of uh, frustrating, but uh, you can get used to it, I'm sure. This is going to be like um, the Zonda pretty much. Initially, you're going to fuck up a lot, at least, you know, I I know I will, but when you get used to it, it probably isn't too bad, but uh, it might not even be <laughs> fucking uh, late second light at this point. It's not. It really is more like a mid, uh, mid second light, not mid first light, what the fuck, I'm sure. I retarded it at times, and by that I mean like, you know, 85% of the time. Come on, we can do this. Oh, for fuck's sake, I keep on doing the same thing. I just expect the shifts to be so fast. They actually aren't. There you go, but we still got uh, a 6.5. We would have gotten it if we got a battery action time. We're missing the launch, so it can at least do that. Well, this was a mid 6.5 with fucking up the launch, so, you know, it's, it's like not going to be the most consistent uh, consistent of cars, but, uh, you know, can still do decent times when you fuck up. Six point four, I, I mean probably, hopefully, it was about the fucking time I nailed the launch for like the second time. There you go, six point four. It can go faster though. I still fucked up some gears.
No, the fucking gears, I fucked up, like again. God damn it, I was so close to get my decent, actually it's still going to be another 6.4, so I'll take it. Uh, two decent launches in a row, you know what? Maybe it's not too bad. No, K1, ti K K1 times though. Alright, last run, hopefully I can actually, you know, get something done. If not, uh, this is going to be quite a shitty ending. Oh, for fuck's sake, it was just that, like, it was so close. Maybe you have another round before it breaks, but I really don't know about it, so, um... What I figured about this car is that you can be consistent with it, but the launch is quite precise. It, it's not the worst, but the needle drops really fucking fast. Oh, fuck you, okay. So, it's not terrible to drive, but it's not for uh, people like me. Pretty much people who are not good at the game, you know. It looks nice, it can probably do 6.3s. You know, considering I hit a few 6.4s, there's definitely people, you know, who can make this thing go faster. And, um, I don't know, I just think it's a really kick-ass car. Is it the fastest? It might be. But it's pretty much, you know, um, I love it how the engine damage says it's zero, because, you know, the test drive option is fucked. Not, not fucked, but, you know, glitched if I refresh. Actually, if we refresh, I wonder what the engine damage will be done. Maybe you have another run in it, because, you know, I want to uh, maximize out the amount of runs I can actually make for the setup, which was, like, 20. And I got, like, three decent launches, so really, I'm quite shit with it, but, uh, you know, I tend to be shit on... Uh, most R3 class cards. The only R3s which I'm really decent at, not good, um, are the Zonda, and um, that, that's about it. Fuck my life, okay. So, do we have another run? And we, uh, ooh, okay, the card was broken way before, okay, fucking hell. Yeah, uh, carbonated, please fix the, you know, fucking Tejra feature, because it still takes boost, and it still takes engine damage, so... Whatever, I'm not going to rate this car, instead, you know, um, I'm just going to uh, leave it as it is, so... Have a good one, goodbye.